Priya Rao with the First Weekend Club and standing here with one of the biggest champions of the Canadian film industry, Mr. Paul Bronfman. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. We're excited to be here tonight. This is a very special event. Now often we are celebrating actors or directors or the writers and sometimes the people behind the lens get a bit lost. You know, that's a good point, Prima. You know, this is really the only event in the industry that recognizes what I would call the below-the-line talent. Certainly the cinematographers mm -hmm. being the, 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 you know, the stars, but all the people that are behind the DPs, uh, the lighting technicians, best boys, uh, the, the crew type people that don't often get recognized but do a whole lot of work. Absolutely. They're who make us look so pretty. It's true. It's true. Now, you have had a very illustrious career, starting out in the music industry. I mean, Super Tramp and April Wine are on your bio, and uh, how fun was that? Well, it was fun. I mean, I was 18, 19, 20 years old at the Good time. Nice. And, uh, you know, I was working for a, a concert promoter by the name of Donald K. Donald. And uh, it was um, certainly a great way to, you know, to earn my stripes and uh, and uh, you know I was 10th in a crew of 10 so they tested me out pretty good they wanted they wanted to break me but, but I, wasn't, I wasn't gonna be broken so well done <laughs> and now here you are you founded William F. White's you're behind so many big organizations in the film industry you're such a supporter of Canadian talent and of the Canadian film industry where does that come from? Well, I guess it comes from uh, an early, uh, an early background where, really, my first job in Toronto was at a place called Pathé Sound and Post Production Center. It was this little hole in the wall at 121 St. Patrick. I started there in January of '78, and at the time, uh, it was post production. It was trim bins, tape, splicers, chalk. But it gave me a real feeling for uh, the people in this industry and it allowed me the opportunity to meet some fantastic people and also to get some mentorship as well, which is very important for young people. That leads me to my next question. Now, you've seen so many directors and film people make it pass through your doors. Some have been successful, some have not. Do you? Do you find it's important to have mentors in this industry? It, it really is. It's the key thing, you know. If you can find people that will, you know, take their time and energy and give you direction, train you, uh, set you in the right path in case you're going offside, and really be a guiding light, I think it's really important. I know in my career, without my mentors before Comweb, I wouldn't have been able to start the business. By the way, Prima, I did not found I did not found what White's William F. White was founded in 1963 by a gentleman by the name of William F. White, and I bought the company in 1989, and have brought it to where it is today, which is one of the biggest, uh, as I say, supporters of the industry and where everyone goes to to get everything they need to make a film, other than your cast. We've been very fortunate. We're really, I'm proud to say, we've got some fantastic, dedicated, uh, uh, unbelievable people that really make make me look good. I don't do a whole lot of work. It's all my employees that do all the work. So. Spoken with humility. Now, the last question is, having been uh, with this industry for so long, who are some of your favorite Canadian filmmakers? Well, I'd, ha I'd have to say, um, well, in terms of producers, I'm biased because my dear friend Don Carmody uh, was one of those people that I met in uh, in the early days working for Joe Gamaldi at Pathé and we sort of grown up together in the industry. There's quite a few folks that I've uh, been very fortunate to meet and admire but Don stands out because Don's been you know a personal friend as well and uh, uh, I love the man. And one of the most successful Canadian producers of all time. Well you know he is and uh, some people are a little bit scared of Don because sometimes he's got a bit of a, you know, he's got an edge, but in a in a good way. But I, I don't I don't want to tell any secrets out of school. But Don's a complete teddy bear inside. He's very soft, very caring, and he's. Very we won't tell anybody. anyone. Don't tell anybody. Don will kill me. Thank you so much, Mr. Bronfman, and thanks for everything you do for the uh, Canadian industry. Thank you too. Thanks for your interest, and I'm honored to be part of this business. As are we. Thank you, Prima.